everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. It's a cool spring day in Arkansas. It's 66 degrees. We just had a storm go through, but uh, the sun's coming out now, but we've dropped 20 degrees since the last time I talked to you. But the azaleas are in bloom. The birds are singing. Uh, I did a bunch of yard work earlier today. And now I thought I'd talk to you about some favorite spring eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so when spring comes, actually March is my favorite month. I always look forward to March because it's just when everything, the trees start budding and the first signs of spring after a long winter. So it's always been my favorite month, except for this year, of course. Um, hope everybody's staying safe. Um, I gave myself a little haircut today because my hairdresser had to reschedule me three times and finally I just gave up um, for whatever reason. But anyways, okay, I think about pastels and, you know, Easter colors, pale yellow, pale pink, pale blue, pale purple, mint green. So I picked out, let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 palettes and three palettes that I love, but I'm pretty sure discontinued, but maybe you have them in your collection and you might want to pull them back out. Um, so let's get started. Um, my very favorite, I'm gonna start with my favorites and uh, work my way down. My very first favorite for spring is the Viseart La Boheme. This is the number two palette, Bohem Dream. And the reason that this is my favorite palette is because you have all the spring colors. You've got your pinks, you've got your greens, you've got your blues, you've got a yellow, and it is an amazing 12 pan palette from Viseart. These are the $80 palettes, so maybe wait for the spring sale at Sephora. A little they're just they blend like a dream the colors are gorgeous that last all day and when you use the Viseart 12 pan eyeshadow you realize that you don't need anything else if you have a collection of Viseart I, I mean I love my Natasha Denona but if I could only choose one Viseart is my number one brand so the only problem with this palette is that they're all shimmers there are no mattes at all um, well, they're kind of satins, but there are no mattes in the palette, and that's how Viseart used to be. They were either all matte or they were all shimmer. All the finish was the same. They're mixing it up now, but it's still my favorite palette for spring. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for one, it's a good one. Um, another good one is, well, we'll leave it for later. We'll leave this. It's another busy art palette, but we'll leave it for later because it's not. This one's the best. So that is my number one spring palette from Busy Art. And if you get the Editorial Brights, that's a good companion palette. But those are bright colors, more suitable. That's a rainbow palette, more suitable for um, summer. Um, but that is a nice rainbow palette as well for summer colors. It comp It's like what you buy instead of the Busy Art. Grand Day Pro Volume 3. It's a you can save a bunch of money by just getting that one. Okay, so that's my favorite all-time spring palette. The second all-time favorite spring palette is Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker. I absolutely love this palette. This is my backup palette because it's fresh. So I want it's got a little bit of everything. It's thin, so it's great for travel compared to his most of his other palettes and you have every spring color you could possibly imagine and that's what I thought when he first came out with this what was it last it was off season when it came out it was like fall or something I don't remember but I was thinking wow that would be great for spring so I purchased it with the intent of holding it on to a spring palette because you've got all the spring colors you've got your yellow you've got your lilac purple you've got your pink you've got your greens you've got your yellows you got your blues and what's nice about Jeffrey's palettes most of his palettes I can't think of one that doesn't he always gives you a white 
uh, of some sort. He always gives you darker shades to deepen with, and he always gives you some some uh, browns and peaches for transition. So I think Jawbreaker is an excellent spring palette and excellent color payoff and quality. I love everything he does, and I can't wait to see what he comes out with next. I'm hoping for a green palette called Blood Money. <laughs> That is my wish, but that in a magnifying mirror 10 times. Jeffrey, come on. Um, but anyways, I absolutely love Jawbreaker, okay? That is a great palette for spring. Okay, next I have the ABH Norvina palette. Now, I think this was her second one, and this is in a really nice aqua case. And this could maybe be used... It's a spring-summer palette because some of the shades are deeper than pastels. But again, a very nice rainbow palette with your pinks, your greens, your yellows. I have all three of these palettes. I absolutely love them. They're, they're fantastic, and they're, they're my favorite. So I think that this, um, I love the aquas in here, and it's just a great, great palette for spring absolutely love it and it's beautiful I use my number one palette mostly um, with the purples in it but I think that's a little bit dark for spring and the third palette uh, with the orange packaging that screams fall to me so I have my palettes that I use for spring summer and fall and this is a spring summer so um, that is a great palette the ABH Norvina 2 I absolutely love those palettes those palettes actually kind of remind me of the Jeffree Star palettes in terms of quality. Okay, next. These are new palettes from ColourPop. ColourPop is one of my favorite inexpensive brands. You just can't beat ColourPop. This is the Mint to Be palette, and it is just lovely shades of mint green, and you've got a little bit of everything, and you do have something to deepen up with. You do have the lighter and it's just a fun palette and I absolutely love ColourPop and um, I mean you just can't beat it you just cannot beat the value and this is in the plastic they've got the new plastic cases um, they used to all be cardboard and um, the cardboard is more environmentally friendly I, I do like the plastic ones though and it comes with a mirror and this palette is like 12 bucks if I remember correctly so it's just a great value if you don't um, want to spend the money. At Jawbreaker, how much is Jawbreaker? The ABH uh, Norvina palette is $60 if I remember correctly. And I think Jawbreaker is $52, something like that. So the Viseart's the most expensive, and then the Norvina, and then Jawbreaker. But if you want to save some money, ColourPop, they've just got some great palettes. Okay, so I got another ColourPop the lilac you a lot and um, just another great inexpensive $12 palette they just came out with these lilacs and it is just so pretty I almost didn't get it because I do have the it's my pleasure palette but I'm a big fan of purple eyeshadow so and this has got some pinks and shimmers and it's got mattes and it's just stunningly beautiful and this is the lilac you a lot palette so really happy to have that just so pretty for spring Okay, next I've got um, the Venus XL2 palette from Lime Crime. I remember when I saw this palette at Ulta in store, it took my breath away. I was totally blown away. And again, this was an out of season palette. Seems like 2019 or 2018 was the year of releasing just whatever you wanted to whenever and that's fine because I'm the same way I wear whatever I want to in whatever season but I thought this was just so beautiful it's got the oranges on it and the these shades are spectacularly beautiful you have the really really light mint greens you've got some pink some peaches you've got some beautiful shimmers you've got a white uh, it's just beautiful I do like the Lime Crime uh, formula, and it's just, this palette just screams spring to me. So that is the Venus XL2, and I think, I'm pretty sure you can still get this. 
Um, I can't remember how much it was though. I think it was kind of expensive. I want to say it was like $48 or something, but this is, this is just stunning. It is just, I just, I remember when I saw it in the store, I had to have it. I mean, just the really, really pale greens are just, an, uh, I love, I love this palette. Okay. So next, I cannot forget this I had the same uh, reaction when I saw this for the first time in store this is the Huda Beauty Mercury retrograde palette now I just it was the same thing when I saw this palette it was stunningly beautiful the packaging is stunningly beautiful of course it's got her eyes on it like all of her packaging seems to have but I just when I saw it I just you got the large mirror and look at these shades all of these pastels and this one was released too. What, when did this come out? Last winter? And that's why I was thinking, oh, the release in the spring palette for winter. This is one of the ones that I was thinking about when they released it. But again, you've got a green, and then you've got a, and then you've got a green shimmer. And then you've got a lavender purple, and then you've got a lavender sparkle. And then you've got your pinks, and it's just stunningly beautiful. Um, and that is Mercury Retrograde. I absolutely just love it. It is definitely a spring palette. And I just like to look at it. It's just the whole thing. The packaging, the colors, it's just stunningly beautiful. So that is a great palette for spring. Next, again, a money saver. I absolutely love, this is one of my favorite palettes from Juvia's Place. This is the Deuce. And most of the Juvia's Place palettes are, what, $16? If I remember correctly, I have almost all of them. But this is absolutely one of my favorite palettes from Juvia's Place. And it's definitely my favorite Juvia's Place for spring. So you've got your pink. You've got your green. You've got a more deeper pink. You've got your brow bone. You've got some transition. You've got a uh, kind of a grayish blue, and it is just such a stunning. You've got a black. There's so much you can do with this palette. It's absolutely one of my favorites. You can buy it at Juvia's Place or you can buy it at Ulta, and it's just one of my favorite spring palettes. I absolutely love Juvia's Place large pans. I know they're releasing some new palettes. I just saw... Um, what was it? They, they, the chocolates, the berries, and the purples, or whatever. They've got these mini mini palettes um, that are, what are they, like $16 with six shades. The purple one looked really pretty. The red berry, or whatever it was called, and the chocolates. They have three of them at Ulta. You can check it out. But I like the old school Big Pan Juvia's Place palettes. This is absolutely amazing for inexpensive. You could pick this up with some color pop and call it a day and you'd be good for spring. Okay, next I want to bring out the um, Norvina palette, the ABH Norvina. When this came out it didn't have enough purple in it for me, um, but it does have some great spring shades and I love the ABH quality. This one you've got your pinks your purples, your peaches, your brown transitions, your brow bone, your deepening shades. You've got kind of a, this one's kind of a, almost a periwinkle blue color. Um, just beautiful, beautiful palette for spring. And that is the a, the ABH Norvina palette. God, Petey's barking again. Excuse me. Hush, Pete. Gosh, every time I want to film, that dog goes nuts. Let me just close the door. I had the door open because it's so beautiful out. I'm going to get some fresh air, but um, sorry about that. He, he goes nuts every time I want to film. But anyways, so I love the Norvina palette. I love all of the Anastasia palettes with the fuzz on them. The last ABH palette I bought was Jackie Ina. And I love that palette as well, but that's a fall palette. But um, Carly Bible and uh, Amrezi and um, Pass. I'm, 
I'm, I'm just, Jackie Ina was the last good palette as far as I'm concerned out of ABH, th that and uh, Norbina's large palettes. Okay, another one that I really, really like is the Huda Beauty New Nudes. And it's not a nude palette, this is a pink palette. And it has every shade of pink you can possibly imagine. And I absolutely love it for spring. This would be, um, it's just so beautiful. You've got a lot of glitter shades, and um, but all the very, very light pinks, nudes, and peaches are just gorgeous. So um, that is a very, very beautiful palette. Okay. Hush! God, I'm so sorry. That dog. He won't start barking. It's people are out mowing their yards, doing yard work, riding bicycles, and he's not used to people being around like this all the time. So he's a good watchdog. He's a good boy. Okay. Next, um, the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I am a fan, and I know a lot of people are not fans, so, and it's a tropic, which would be more of a summer palette, but to me, it's a spring palette. So, let me show you. I absolutely love this palette. It has all of the light pinks and melons up here. Uh, spectacularly beautiful. One of my favorite shades is this Limoncello. I use this in that while well, I'm wearing it today, the inner corner highlight. It's a great shade for that. You've got your lilac purple down here. Uh, this is actually the palette I'm wearing today. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I've got the uh, I've got this shade on as a transition. I'm wearing the blue down here. I've got the limoncello in my inner corner, and then I've got this sparkly blue uh, all over the lid on top of that. So I absolutely love this palette. It is more spring than summer to me. If you take out these two dark shades, it's, it's a spring palette more than a summer palette. So I absolutely love it. And um, I ignored the haters and I bought it and I'm not sorry. Absolutely love the Tropic palette. And I love the packaging, it's so pretty. Okay, next. I have the Viseart Liaison palette. This is a purple palette from Viseart and I really like it because it's one of the palettes that mixes the finishes. So you have all the shades of purple, you've got some uh, plum transitions, you've got some lights and some darks, and it's just so pretty. So if you're looking for a purple and you like Viseart, this is a great, great palette. You've also got some neutrals, you've got some transition, and you've got some shades to darken it up, and it's just a great, great purple palette for spring. It's so pretty. I love that. I'm glad they're mixing up the finishes now, too. So it's just, you know, because I've always had to pull in companion palettes, but I have the, I use the uh, Viseart neutral mattes a lot, and I have the dark mattes and the cool mattes and all that, so I do have those to pull in. Um, with the shimmer palettes, but uh, speaking of shimmer palettes, here is the new Koi palette. So the Koi palette is really pretty, and it's an excellent spring palette as well, and this is an all shimmer, uh, well, it's more satin than shimmer, but again, you've got your blue, you've got your yellow, you've got your pinks, um, you've got your purple, you've got your mint, you've got a white, and it's just so gorgeous. But I do like the Bohem Dream uh, better than the Koi palette. But let me hold them up together so you can kind of see what you think as far as that goes. Which you prefer. So this is Bohem Dream. I just think it's more springy with the blues, the pinks, the greens, and the yellow than uh, the Koi palette. Which is still pretty, but I think this is definitely more springy. Okay, so let me know what you think about that. So uh, more Viseart. So next, I've got three more palettes, which I, I'm pretty sure are discontinued, but in case you still have them somewhere in your collection and you wanna dig them up because you forgot about them, because I certainly forgot about my palettes 
um, when I dug all these up, I was like, oh yeah, that would, what about that one? But I've always, whenever I buy my palettes, I always think, oh, that would be great for fall, that would be great for winter, that would be great for spring. So, but I tend to store my palettes and my makeup by brand. So I've got all my Urban Decay together, I've got all my Too Faced together, so I actually have to pull things out. Um, oh my gosh, what is he barking at? Okay, there's there's people out in the yard, that's what they're doing. Okay, there's, he's a great watchdog, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to find something else. I'm gonna have to put him somewhere when I'm filming, I apologize. Okay, so this is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. So we all heard about Lemonade and how it was recalled because they were having an issue with their foiled shades and um, it seems like the issues were the palettes that were released in 2016, 2017. I can't remember when I bought this. I think this palette's okay because it, um, there, there's no issues with the way the foils looked. I saw a lot of pictures online about people having issues with the foils. If you could please tell me the batch code, does anybody know what the batch code is? I've tried to Google it, look it up, I've spent easily an hour trying to find the Dominique Cosmetic bad batch code to determine if I've got a good palette or a bad palette. I think I have a good palette because it looks good. But this, when I first I saw it, I was like, I've got to have that for spring. You've got a beautiful lemon yellow up here. You've got a gorgeous mint green over here. You've got your pinks, you've got your peaches. It's just so pretty. You've got your transitions, you've got brow bone. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, and that is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. It is just so pretty, and it just screams spring to me. So pretty. Um, now, I've got a couple of discontinued palettes, pretty sure. A um, couple of Too Faced uh, that, again, when I saw them, I was like, oh, my God, I've got to have that for spring. All right. So, next we have the original Clover palette. And this is a palette, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, that is so pretty. I love the tin packaging that's raised with clover on it, and it's just so pretty. And you open it up, and it still smells a little bit. But you've got your mint green, you've got your yellow, you've got your pinks, you've got your brown transitions. It's just so, so pretty. You've got some shimmers, you've got mattes. I just love this for spring, and that is the original Clover palette. Now, I know they've, they've come out with Clover 2 and maybe even Clover 3, I don't know, but that is the original Cl Clover palette, and I just think it's so pretty. So if you're interested, maybe you can get it off of eBay or something like that, but um, it's mostly a matte palette. Oh, there goes Tiger. Hey, bud. Um, it's mostly matte, but it does have some shimmers, and it just it just screams spring. Okay, and last but not least, I have another discontinued Too Faced palette. This is the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar. I don't know, too many people didn't buy this. Um, it's not to be confused with the White Chocolate Chip palette, which the mini palette, which I have that, and it's total crap. But this White Chocolate Bar, it's so pretty. Mmm, smells. You can still smell the cocoa. It's so pretty, and it's all very, very light shades for spring, and I absolutely love this palette. Again, you've got your mint green, you've got your peach, you've got your pink, you've got your real, real pale uh, periwinkle, and I love that they put the big white and cream, you know, just the big pans that you use the most. And it's such a pretty, pretty palette. So that is the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar. So if you're interested, maybe you can find it on eBay. But anyways, that wraps it up for my favorite spring palettes of all time. I absolutely love it. My name's Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Um, let me tell you what I'm wearing today on my uh, skin. I am wearing my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Um, soft beige. I absolutely love this. It smells like paint. It's god awful. It smells like paint. But if you're looking for a quick 
makeup, which is what I was doing today. And um, you just put it on and it, there's no flashback and it's such a, such a pretty, pretty foundation. I absolutely love it. And that is the Wet n Wild and you know, it doesn't hurt that it's like less than $5 a bottle. So that is a really pretty foundation. They might have, um, they might have a new foundation out now. I don't know if they're still making this or not, but there'll be something that they replaced it with. But I just liked it because like in Seven Kinds of Light, it didn't have flashback. So it's perfect, but just ignore the paint smell. I'm sure there's uh, no good ingredients in it. Um, on my, for my powder, I just use my old school Cody Airspun. Um, again, because I'm going out and doing yard work and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money using my good powder. Woo! So that's that. On my face today, I've got the Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad, the um, blush, contour, and highlight palette. I absolutely love it. And I've got a video out comparing all of the Benefit uh, palettes. I've got Dandelion, the pink brightening palette powder on my cheeks, and I contoured today with uh, Hoola, and then I didn't, uh, oh, I forgot to put my highlighter on. I didn't want to use Twinkle today. I wanted to get out my Jeffree Star highlighter, and I forgot I don't have any highlighter on. <laughs> no wonder my makeup went so fast. Okay, anyways, no highlighter today, but that's the, the face palette. I absolutely love the Cheek Stars the bronze squad the cheek leaders pink and bronze squad those are just fantastic palettes they're absolutely amazing um in my brows i just used uh, some gimme brow i really like the gimme brow because it's just this is a sample one but it's got the tiny tiny little brush in it and you can just brush up and it's not crunchy or crispy or anything like that it's just it's just really nice and i do like the gimme brow so um wanted to use that today on my lashes, I've got the Urban Decay, what is this called, the Maneater? No, what's it called, that's, that's Tarte. Um, Troublemaker, yeah, Urban Decay Troublemaker. Um, not a fan, I couldn't get it to build, and um, yeah, not a fan. It, it flaked and passed. Okay, I, I keep trying to use it and keep trying to like it, and I still don't like it, so anyways. Um, then my nail polish, this is um, the LA Colors Gel, and this is the shade Stalker. <laughs> um, but I thought it was a really pretty uh, blue for spring, and this is just one coat, $1.98. You know I love me some LA Colors polish, so um, yeah, just go down to Walmart. Well, you can't go down to Walmart. Yeah, you can go to Walmart. Walmart's still open. Thank you, Jesus, and, and thank you for all the people who are down there risking everything to stock the shelves and the truck drivers and every and the god the hospital people on the front lines and the people who are coming out of retirement and um just people stay home stay home please stay home and not contribute to the problem be part of the solution stay home flatten the curve um <sighs> It's not that hard. Can you not just self-isolate for a couple months and just, you know, just do it? Just do it. It's not that hard. You can find things to do. Clean your house. I mean, okay. On my lips, Dose of Colors. This is my holy grail. Um, I love it. I wear Ofra most of the time, but if it's not that, it's, oh, it's uh, Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy. This is my number one uh, kind of a pink lip color you know your lips but better shade um and on my eyes i am wearing well i think i already told you the natasha denona tropic so i've got the blues the pinks the lemoncello and uh, i love me some tropic so anyways that's it okay y'all have a great week and um well i'll be seeing you before then because there's nothing else to do so um i'll see you soon all right thanks a lot oh, bye